Hi students, welcome back for another dictation lesson. Um, this is actually our 10th dicta dictation video, so I hope you've been finding them helpful. Make sure to leave a comment down at the bottom saying which sentences are the easiest, giving some examples of other difficult um, pronunciations that you would like to practice. So we always start dictation with these common reminders. Remember to try and write as much as you can. But it is okay if you aren't able to catch everything. If you're able to catch everything, you don't need to practice. You're listening. It is really okay if you can't catch all of the words. Um, write as much as you can. Listen to it a few times. Pause it. Go back. Listen again. And then move on. Remember that we're always going to practice the sentences multiple times. If you can't catch it, wait for that second practice. If you still can't catch it, that's okay. Skip it, listen to the explanation, and the explanation will help you to connect the pronunciation to the written words. Most importantly, you have to remember to be patient. Remember, this isn't about speaking like me. This is adjusting your ear to better hear, to better understand, the spoken American English, the common reductions, the common short forms in spoken American English. So if you're ready, let's begin. Our first practice today, we just have six um, sentences. Mm, one, two, three of them will be questions, three of them will be sentences. So double check at the end that you have three questions and you have three with period or with full stop at the end. Um, and tell me in the comment, what do you think is the theme? What is the common reduction, the common pronunciation between each of these phrases? Come to number one. Hurry up. We don't want to be late or we'll miss the class. Hurry up. We don't want to be late or we'll miss the class. Hurry up. We don't want to be late or we'll miss the class. Number two. How much do you want to cut off? How much do you want to cut off? How much do you want to cut off? Three. Do you want to see a movie later? Do you want to see a movie later? Do you want to see a movie later? Four, she didn't want to have her picture taken. She didn't want to have her picture taken. She didn't want to have her picture taken. Five. She'd better hurry up if she doesn't want to miss the bus. She'd better hurry up if she doesn't want to miss the bus. She'd better hurry up if she doesn't want to miss the bus. Our last one today, number six. What do you want to get done this week? What do you want to get done this week? What do you want to get done this week?
All right, take a deep breath, shake out your tight muscles, come back one more time for each sentence, try to catch as much as you can, and if you can't, skip. Number one, hurry up. We don't want to be late or we'll miss the class. Number two, how much do you want to cut off? Number three, do you want to see a movie later? Four, she didn't want to have her picture taken. Five, she'd better hurry up if she doesn't want to miss the bus. Six, what do you want to get done this week? Remember that you should have three question marks and you should have three with period. Look back over your sentences, check the grammar, does it make sense? Feel free to rewind the video, check or double check any of the sentences that you want to listen again. When you're ready, we'll continue with our review and explanation. All right, if you've double, double checked your sentences, let's jump into our review and the explanation of my reduced pronunciation for these phrases. Number one, hurry up. We don't want to be late or we'll miss the class. Hurry up, hurry up. The end of the Y pushes into the up. You don't hear them separated hurry, up. They push together and you hear hurry up, hurry up. I did put an exclamation mark after hurry up because it feels like something I would shout or something that would have emotion. But you could have a comma here. That would be completely fine. We don't want to be late. We don't want to be late. The T on don't is held back, is not released. You don't hear we don't want to. You hear we don't want to. We don't want to be late. We don't want to. Want to, of course, my common, common reduction for want to. We don't want to be late. Or we'll miss the class. We'll miss. We'll. We'll. We will. We'll miss the class. Hurry up. We don't want to be late or we'll miss the class. Number two. How much do you want to cut off? How much do you want to cut off? Here I'm thinking maybe a hair salon, a hairstylist. Um, how many inches? How much hair? How much hair do you want to cut off? My do ya, do ya, do ya, do you. They push together and make this connected do ya. How much do ya? How much do ya? Again, my want to combining to make this wanna. How much do you want to? How much do you want to get? How much do you want to buy? How much do you want to bring? How much do you want to cut off? Again, this T, so often, so often, this T at the end of a word is not a strong T. It's a held back, unreleased D. Instead of cut off, I'm saying cut off. Cut off, cut off. How much do you want to cut off? Of course, my question mark, because this is my question. Number three, do you want to see a movie later? Do you want to see a movie later? T 
two actual different ways that we could reduce this. The first one I'm using right now in this dictation. Do you want to see a movie later? Do you? Do you? Again, we see that do you? Do you connection? Do you want to? Do you want to go? Do you want to think? Do you want to take? Do you want to see a movie later? And I didn't make this note here. I should have made the note here that this word of later is not a strong T. Again, it's that held back. It's that um, pulled back later, laid later. I also hear people shorten this a lot and just say, want to see a movie later? Want to go? Want to get coffee? Want to get lunch? My beautiful grammar, do you want to? But my common spoken reduction, want to go? Want to meet for lunch? Number four, she didn't want to have her picture taken. She didn't want to have her picture taken. Again, that wanna, wanna. On didn't, we have the, the again, the strong T didn't being held back, being pulled back. And we hear didn't, didn't. I didn't go. I didn't see you. She didn't want to. She didn't want to. The E in have pushing into the sound of her, have, her, becoming have her, have her. She didn't want to have her picture taken. Number five, she'd better hurry up if she doesn't want to miss the bus. Oh, she'd better hurry up if she doesn't want to miss the bus. I wrote here shift, but on my, on my first FSC, I read the bus. Sorry. She'd better hurry up if she doesn't want to miss the bus. She'd, 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 she'd better, she'd better. Again, the double D from that T. Better, becoming better, better. She'd, she had, she'd better. She'd better hurry up. She'd better hurry up if she doesn't, if she doesn't, if she doesn't, if she doesn't want to miss the bus. Um, I must have changed between making my list on my phone and making my slideshow here for the dictation. So if I was using her shift, Again, you would have that H of her deleted, and you'd hear miss her shift, miss her shift. If she doesn't want to miss her shift, she doesn't want to miss her shift. Last one, number six. What do you want to get done this week? What do you want to get done this week? This what do you Combining to make the what do ya, what do ya, what do you wanna, what do you wanna do, what do you wanna buy, what do you wanna eat, what do you wanna get? Again, that T at the end, not released, held back in the mouth so that you don't hear get done. And especially because the T and the D are so similar in the location in your mouth. If you make the T, 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 and you make the D, 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 it's the same position of your tongue. They pull together, and you don't hear get done. You hear get done. Get done. What do you want to get done this week? Let's come back for all Let me read it one more time. Remember, you're trying to make the connection between the written word and the poor spoken pronunciation, the reduced spoken pronunciation. Number one, hurry up. We don't want to be late or we'll miss the class. Number two, how much do you want to cut off? Three, do you want to see a movie later? Or for three, 
Wanna see a movie later? Number four, she didn't want to have her picture taken. Number five, she'd better hurry up if she doesn't want to miss her shift. Or she doesn't want to miss the bus. And the last one, number six, what do you want to get done this week? All right, students, that's it for today. See you later. See you next time. How'd you do on this dictation? Let me know in the comments. Let me know. Let me know which one was easy for you, which one was difficult, which one would you like to practice more in class or in a future YouTube dictation. Um, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. If you subscribe to the channel, you'll get a notification when new videos are posted. Otherwise, watch for new videos by opening up the channel occasionally um, to check for new dictation, pronunciation, and grammar videos. See you later. Bye.